warfare in our schools. The enemy is trying hard. He's got the, the uh, young people in his crosshairs. He's trying to get them addicted to everything but Jesus. So y'all give it up for Brandon Villabos this, this all afternoon. All right, all right, yes. Hey, how you guys doing? So um, I'm here to testify to you today from the ages of 14 to 21, I was bound and shackled by every single type of drug that you could ever think of. At the age of 14, I started getting around the wrong crowd because I felt unworthy, I felt unloved, I felt abandoned by my dad who left. When I was 14 years old, I felt like I had to pick up the slack. My mom was in a wheelchair at the time and had breast cancer, so I felt like I had to pay the bills and pay the mortgage because she wasn't able to. So fast forwarding, I've been arrested five times, I'm now 28 years old. The last time I got arrested was 21 years old. I was walking around the jailhouse and they got church going on on a Thursday. And Pastor Charlie, Pastor Charlie started preaching to me about the gospel, how Jesus died on the cross and rose on the third day to cover our sins. And I wanted that relationship with Jesus on that day because he tugged on my heart and I felt something I never felt before in my life. September 17, 2016, I decided to give my life to Jesus. And it is the best decision. All right, I've ever all right. Yes. Yeah. Back back when I was doing all of my other stuff, I didn't know Jesus. I I went to I went to Catholic church, which is not really church. They don't talk about they don't talk about the Holy Spirit, they don't talk about anything like that. But now God gave me the advocate called the Holy Spirit, which guides me through this life. And now I live every single day glorifying Him because it says in the Bible that life is nothing but a vapor. So why are we going to live life not trying to please God and try to please man? Because we all walk around trying to please man, but we need to please God, the one who created us. The one who created us, the one who knows every single hair on your head. The one who created you in your mother's womb. So why are we not glorifying Him in all things that we do? God says, come to me all who are weary and burdened, for I will give you rest. Jesus is the only one will give you that will give you rest. That drug won't give you rest. That sexual addiction won't give you rest. Going to watch pornography will not give you rest. Only Jesus Christ will give you rest. So I encourage you guys today that if you don't have a relationship with Jesus, Jesus is the only way to heaven. Heaven and hell is real. People play games about this, but hell is real. You will literally be in a lake of fire for eternity. Who wants to burn for eternity or be in paradise with Jesus? I encourage you guys today. Jesus, he's the way, the truth, and the life. Have a relationship with him. He will make your life amazing.